Hey guys, good morning and uh, welcome. It's Tuesday, Tuesday it Table Talk. Woo! Woo! Um, so guys, we are in week three of mm-hmm. our Real God series. And so uh, this week we are talking about the sovereignty of God. And so here is the question. I texted out to these guys. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, here it is. How does God's sovereignty give you peace, especially when it comes to past mistakes and hurts? Mm-hmm. So how does God's sovereignty bring you peace, especially when it comes to past mistakes and hurts? And, mm-hmm. and kind of our memory verse for the week is Romans 8, 28, yeah. uh, that God, God works all things for the good of those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And so, um, yeah, let's dive in. Okay. So um, I'm going to piece apart this question just to answer it better for my own trajectory. But uh, when I think about sovereignty, that's a big word. Uh, There are things that we know about it, and there's things that we don't know about it. Um, But when I think about sovereignty, I think about God being in control. Mm. And then I think about myself and how I want to be in control. Mm. (laughs) So there's this tension there of... How do I acknowledge that God ultimately is in control, control. whether I try to take those reins or not? Um, And how do I have peace about that? So we've Mm -hmm. been talking about different characteristics of God, and one of those is God's goodness. Mm -hmm. And so when God has taught me about his goodness, Mm -hmm. it's helped me to build trust Mm -hmm. and to be more open and receptive Mm -hmm. to God's control. Absolutely. Uh, and so uh, when I think about that, I think about the imagery in Matthew 11, uh, where Jesus, um, he says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Mm-hmm. Take, up, take up my yoke and learn from me, because I am lowly and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm-hmm. And so when I think about God's control, about God's sovereignty, it's not a harsh, um, domineering, mean, spirited, wanna, yeah, yeah, it's not that stuff. It's, it's kind Mm. and it's Mm. easy and it's for me Mm. and it's for Mm. my benefit and my good. And so that's that part of that question, God's goodness. And then, um, God's sovereignty. And then when I think about that in context with how we are all sinful human beings, Mm who mess up and it can feel really horrible. So how do we um, not stay in that pit of just Mm -hmm. feeling horrible um, because of God's sovereignty and and being in control of everything? He's, you know, with us today in this Mm -hmm. moment. He was Mm -hmm. with us in the past and all of our moments and he's with us in the future and he, nothing surprises him, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's not like we can do anything that's going to surprise him or throw him off. He's like, oh, you just did this? You're out of here. You know, <laughs> he he knows everything. So he's for us. Um, and there's a passage in Lamentations that I... I think it's 70 times 7. So when you yeah. say that, that's it, you're out of here. That's just... it, 491. You're out of here, sucker. <laughs> out of here. Yes. Uh, that's just yes. one too much. Just, just... You That's the limit. You hit the limit. <laughs> you cross the Summer. line. So, yeah. 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 Um, but when I, because I'm human, I fail. I mess up. Mm-hmm. Um, I This passage always comes to mind. Uh, in Lamentations 3, verses 21 through 24, says, Yet I call this to mind, and therefore I have hope. God doesn't leave us without hope, right? Because of the Lord's faithful love, mm. we do not perish, for his mercies mm. never end. Like, we have new mercies all the time. Um, They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will put my hope in him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we might mess up 50 times in a day or, you know, but each time I just have this image of God being by my side. Mm -hmm. God says he's with us. He's Mm -hmm. in us. Mm -hmm. And he just this, hey, get up. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Try again. Mm-hmm. And God isn't this harsh, like, how dare you fail? Like, oh, you're a human being. Mm. This is how you learn. Right. Keep seeking me. Keep pursuing me. Let's get up and keep going. So that's how 
a long explanation of how I piece that question together yeah, of God's succinct. sovereignty. Well, <laughs> quite now that there's only a couple minutes left in the video. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, maybe you'd have to read the question real quick. Uh, so, so the question much. is, how does God's sovereignty bring you peace, especially awesome. when it comes to uh, past hurts or mistakes? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, so God's sovereignty bring me peace. So I will say this, uh, kind of like, like the whole human response, control, right? Uh, the reality of God's sovereignty, we're not going to see the fruit of that. We're not going to see the fun side of that mm -hmm. until way later on. Uh, we're not always going to see it immediately, right? Yeah. And so I, all the mistakes I've made or the hurts I've been through, yeah. I have not seen the fruit of them. I have not seen mm -hmm. the, the cheery side of God's sovereignty <laughs> in them until way later on down the road where yeah. God used yeah. me or, or used those experiences to allow me to minister to people who are hurting or going mm -hmm. through the right. same thing. But now you have that testimony right. yeah. exactly. to remind you of the it's, current That's struggle. part of that too, right? right? Yeah. You don't, you don't yeah. see it till later on. And so yeah. uh, I would certainly say, um, you know, when, when, when it comes to just kind of, that's kind of where the beauty is in God's sovereignty. However, whenever you're initially going through those hurts uh, or you're making those mistakes, yeah. Kind of your first reaction, like you said, Catherine, is like, why, why would this happen? Why is this? Why am I falling into this? You mm -hmm. know, um, and uh, something that you know, Romans eight twenty eight has been my favorite verse since childhood. Um, <laughs> and then you're remembering that God is working things out, mm -hmm. um, but but there's always that question of why, like, how is this a part of that good plan? How yeah. you know, yeah. how is this? Uh, this sin struggle a part of this good plan, right? Or, or how is this loss a part of this good plan? And yeah. uh, the reality is you're not going to see that until later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something we have to grow comfortable with because our God is outside of time and space. Right. Yes. Um, and yes. Peter even says, Lewis. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. so good. So good. Um, and, and even Peter. Peter, yeah. you know, talks about the concept of time with God. Um, he's like, hey, for God, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. Pretty much saying, hey, guess what? Yeah. You're not on, you know, God's not on your timetable. Yeah. You're on God's. And yeah. so for God, like, it's it's going to be a short span amount of time for him. But for us, sometimes it feels like forever, and we grow so impatient with, like, mm -hmm. God, like, what are, mm -hmm. what are you doing mm -hmm. with this, you know? Um, and and I think we need to, you've preached about this before. This is one of your first sermons, actually, I think I heard was, you know, uh, when things go wrong, what we don't need to be telling each other is like, oh, well, God's got a plan. <laughs> because if I'm being entirely honest, it's good. It's, it's good. No. Right, right, yeah. Like, like God does have a plan. However, that's not always going to help carry us through that pain, yeah. Yeah. right? You're and, not validating the emotion right, of what's exactly, happening. Exactly, and we all need to yeah. be able to process yes. individually while also remembering, hey, God is going to eventually use this, uh -huh. but it's okay that I don't see it right now, but I still need to remember that God is going to use this. Right. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the things that actually came to my mind when you asked this question. I was like, man, I remember when Jason talked about that, like sermon from like two years ago, I think. And then we can have, and, uh, we can have peace, right? And yeah. so it's not, it's not that it feels good, right? Mm -hmm. but it's that I, I can rest. And so kind of like I'd pick up where Catherine was is we all have a tendency to want to be in control. Yeah. yeah. And um, and so one, you're in control of your actions, and then you know we're talking about our own sin, and then when others hurt us, and so mm -hmm. if I'm in control of, of both of those things, then that's very problematic, right? Because yeah. I can't I can't yeah. do anything with my own sin. I I can't cure it. I, I can't make myself better. And I I also I, I can't really affect what other people do to right. me either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So so the peace and God's sovereignty, understanding God is over everything, and that yeah. He will use mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Okay, so, so that doesn't mean that I won't endure it. In fact, Jesus tells us, like, in this trouble, or, or in this world, you're going to have trouble. Like, he yeah. actually yeah. says it. So I think about the Apostle Paul. One of my favorite stories is mm -hmm. that he's heading out on his very first missionary journey, mm -hmm. and he kind of gets to, like, one of his first stops, and he gets stoned basically to death, yeah. right? So, so this is before he writes half the New Testament. Uh, yeah. So he's going out, missionary, man, God's got a plan for me. You save me. I'm going to be light to the Gentiles. And then they're like, no, we're going to kill you. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. and so mm -hmm. so they throw rocks at him, almost almost kill him to death. Mm -hmm. And then eventually he's going to get back up and, and go back in, and then he's going to go back on, and he's going to come back to these people. And so yeah. um, I remember the first time I preached on that passage, I said, okay, so here's the deal. Um, people are going to throw stones at you. Um, you're going to be hit by rocks. Yeah. And guess what? You're a person. 
Mm-hmm. So sometimes you're going to be the, the dummy that's throwing a rocket yourself, right? That's what yeah. sin is. It's yeah. like picking up a big that's boulder exactly and going, go, oh, and like sometimes I'm going to knock myself down, right? So whether we're talking about sin mm-hmm. or we're talking about somebody else hurting us, the truth is like like we are gonna we're going to yeah. be down. Right. Yes. So we're going to be down because we hurt ourselves. We're going to be mm-hmm. down because somebody else hurts mm-hmm. us. And 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 here's here's the beauty of it. Yet, yeah, but God's over it. Yeah. And and God's God God can use it even mm-hmm. even my worst hurts. Mm-hmm. He can use those things for His glory for His gain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so therefore, I mean, I can find rest yeah. that He has a plan. And that, and that, listen, his plan includes using a dummy like me, right? It <laughs> yeah. includes See? using a dummy yeah. like me yes. and it yeah. accuses using dummies like you, yes. uh, right? Like, like if we can embrace that, then I can realize, okay, so there's nothing that I can do mm. and there's nothing that anyone can do to me mm. yeah. that God cannot use for his glory and That's for right. his gain uh, and, and, and ultimately for eternal good, Woo! eternal mm. good. Mm. Therefore... The person in me that wants to have control yeah. uh, can release it and go, oh, wow. Yeah. Right? I mean, my worst mistake can't do me in. Right. right? Mm. And the greatest harm that anybody can befall unto me, like, can't do me in. Mm-hmm. It, it cannot thwart the plans of God. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Like, then right. I can, now I can lay my head on my yeah. pillow yeah. and I can go, you know, good night, God. You got this. Like, mm-hmm. there's just mm-hmm. something about it. And, and yeah. again, it doesn't take away from there's real hurt in life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sure. doesn't take away from sure. real shame because we have that. Yes. Okay. That's, that's what leads us to repentance. Our guilt leads us mm-hmm. to repentance. So it doesn't take away from those things. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think it frees me to, to just, again, have this sense of peace mm-hmm. yeah. where I can rest my head and I can trust in a God that is good, mm-hmm. that he is going to finish what yes. he started yeah. in me. He's going to finish what he started in, in others as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. And and sure. I can be confident in that, yeah. uh, that I don't have to be the, the product of change. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. It's so freeing. Oh. <laughs> it's nice when it's not about us. Yeah. 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 So we hope you find peace in that too. Yes. That's our hope, that <laughs> you this week could find peace in the sovereignty of God. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Amen. Woo-hoo. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. See y'all.